Clark County Sheriff's Department is now identifying the sole victim of a small plane crash as well known in the aviation community. 84-year-old Wilbur Skeets Merrer crashed his plane into a hillside between two homes about 4.30 this afternoon. K2's Tom Jensen live at the crash site now. And Tommy, you have some new information that Merrer may have actually died before he crashed that plane? From eyewitness descriptions, for one, telling us how Mayor flew the airplane straight into the hillside here at a high rate of speed with no apparent attempts to slow down or even steer away. It was on a perfectly clear day and just a half mile from his home airport. So unless there were serious problems with that aircraft or serious health problems, he could have conceivably glided that aircraft into the airport here. But the most compelling report came from a very close friend who was flying behind Skeet's mare and says he was in radio contact with him, talking to him until just seconds before the plane went down. From Jet Ranger 2, you can see the 1959 Piper Comanche scattered across a field just north of Lacamas Lake near Grove Field Airport. A lot of people saw it crash, <laughs> including a group of kids who were at a birthday party just a quarter mile from the crash site. Did you think, oh my gosh, that plane looks like it's crashing, or what did you mm -hmm, think? Because it's going like straight down like that. A woman who lives in this house just above the crash site saw the same thing. She said her house shook when it hit the ground. Upset by the loss of a pet and shaken by the wreck, she asked we do not show her face. I was like, oh my God, he's coming towards the house. He really looked like he was going to hit the house. Larry Mills lives just below the crash site and heard the aircraft coming in fast with no attempt to turn or slow down. He was at full throttle and it sounded like he was about 100 foot over the top of my trailer. And about two seconds after it went over, there was a big thud. The most compelling witness also did not want to talk on camera. Mike Knuth was actually following his close friend in the 52-year-old aircraft when he says his friend did not respond to his radio calls. Seconds later, he watched the plane crash straight into the ground. Another friend says the victim was the type of person who would have taken the plane into the ground to avoid hurting anyone else. He did what uh, he probably trained to do, put it down where there's nobody. Now the speculation also tonight that you know, if he was dying, if he knew that something was physically wrong with him and he was not responding to Mike Knuth's radio calls, he may have known that this was it and I've got to take this plane into the airfield. I don't have, or into this field here. I don't have time to take it into Grove Field nearby. Now, Knuth and uh, Mayor were just returning from Pendleton where, where Mayor had some problems with that aircraft. He had to have the landing gear repaired in Pendleton because he forgot to put down the, the landing gear, according to Mike Knuth. And then on their way back, they apparently stopped in Troutdale, according to sources, where they had to get a new propeller on the airplane just a half hour to an hour before it crashed. Federal investigators will return to the scene in the morning, and we should have a clearer picture soon on exactly what happened and why this airplane crashed. We're live in Camas. Tom Jensen, K2 News. A whole lot of unanswered questions on this one, Tommy. Thank you for that.